Hey, it's Marco here from Fair Realty. Today I'm talking about the newly built home property transfer tax exemption increase from 750,000 to 1.1 million. How is this gonna impact uh, the market? Well, first of all, we do have some product here in Victoria that's sitting at unsold around that $1 million mark. For example, at uh, Dockside, they have some beautiful two bedroom, two bathroom, uh, 1,000 to 1,100 square foot condos that are around that million dollar mark. Uh, for someone looking to downsize uh, at 1.1 million, they're saving $20,000 uh, in property transfer tax if they're buying a brand uh, new product and they meet the criteria to qualify. So it reduces some of those uh, friction or transaction costs if someone's looking to sell their older single family home and buy a brand new town home or a brand, uh, uh, brand new condo. So I think it's gonna help uh, some of those developers that are sitting on that stock of uh, finished completed inventory between 750 and 1.1 uh, 1 million, as I said, it's upwards of a $20,000 uh, savings uh, uh, for the buyer not having to pay the property uh, transfer tax. It's also going to create some other interesting market dynamics. A lot of these uh, brand new completed developments. Uh, buyers that bought these units at pre-sales are reselling them. Well, if you're buying a brand new, never lived in uh, unit that's being resold uh, by the original uh, buyer of the pre-sale contract, you have to pay property uh, transfer tax because the exemption only applies if you're buying directly uh, from the developer. So it's gonna put some of those resellers at a disadvantage because that consumer or the buyer can go to the developer and buy something between 750 and 1.1 million that wasn't previously exempt, now is exempt, and save upwards of $20,000 not having to pay the property uh, transfer tax. So that's another market dynamic that comes, uh, uh, comes into place. Are we gonna see uh, developers, builders trying to build product at a million and ninety nine or exactly at one point uh, one thousand i don 't think so because I thought that would happen when the first exemption, which was introduced years ago up to seven hundred and fifty thousand for brand new builds and i didn 't really see developers trying to hit that seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar mark. They would put units up a brand new for eight twenty eight fifty and they would still sell and buyers would pay that twelve thirteen fourteen thousand dollars in property transfer tax so i don't think it's going to lead uh to market segments where uh developers are trying to target maybe single family home bills exactly at 1.1 million or townhomes exactly at 1.1 million it did not play a big role in the marketplace when that exemption was 750 and it's not going to play a big role now that the exemption is 1.1 million if I can give you a quick tip, and most developers include appliances uh, in their uh, prices. Therefore, if a developer hypothetically is asking $1,110,000, uh, you can avoid the property transfer tax by writing up the contract at $1.1 million and paying $10,000 separately uh, to the developer for the appliances. This is perfectly legal under law as property transfer tax is not applicable to something called shadows. Uh, such as appliances, uh, it's applicable to property and fixtures, but not chattel. So by excluding appliances from the purchase price, uh, you can save uh, property transfer tax if the price is just above that uh, $1.1 million uh, dollar mark. There is a partial exemption on property transfer tax for new builds up to $1.15. Uh, uh, what that means is at 1.15, you pay the full property uh, transfer tax, which would be over $20,000. If it's somewhere in between uh, 1.1 and 1.15, you would pay, let's say it's exactly half in between at uh, 1.125, you would pay approximately $10,000 in property transfer tax. So in conclusion, best to stay at 1.1 or below. And not another little detail, that's pre-GST, so if the builder is asking 1.1 plus GST, you're still not paying any PTT. That's it for this week. Marco Giras from Fair Realty.